Filipino inventions that change the world. Please like, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Number 1. Diosdado Banatao developed the first single-chip graphical user interface accelerator that made computers work a lot faster. This invention has allowed computer users to use graphics for commands and not the usual type commands in older computers. It has allowed data processing to be a little faster using very little space. He is a Filipino entrepreneur and engineer working in the high-tech industry. He was born in a small barrio of Malabac, Cagayan, Philippines. A three-time startup veteran, he co-founded Mostrin, Chips, and Technologies, and S3 Graphics. In 1984, Banatao and his business partner Francis SIU, founded a high-technology company, Mostrin, starting with a capital of half a million US dollars. Mostrin was launched as a manufacturer of motherboards. They also hired Ron Yara of Intel as a company executive. After he developed a five-chip set, he co-founded Chips and Technologies in 1985. The company developed System Logic chip set for IBM's PCXT and the PCAT. The company earned $12 million in its first four months. After 22 months, the company went public. In 1989, Bonatow launched his third startup company, S3 Graphics, with Yara in Santa Clara, California. S3 focused on enhancing the graphic capabilities in personal computers by using a graphic accelerator chip. The key to this was, Bonatow's invention of a local bus. In 1996, the company became the leader of the graphic chips market, beating a strong competitor, Cirrus Logic Incorporated. In the same year, Chips and Technologies was sold to Intel for about $300 million. He later sold another company for more than $1 billion, where it had less than 20 employees. Dato was also part of CRF, where it started the consumerization of GPS after it had been declassified by the US government. Number 2. Erythromycin. Invented by Dr. Abelardo Aguilar. Erythromycin is used to treat and prevent a wide range of infections in the body. These infections include infections of the respiratory tract and skin, acute pelvic inflammatory disease, pertussis, Legionnaire's disease and syphilis. It was a strain of the Streptomyces erythraeus which produced erythromycin as its metabolic products. Commercially, the company launched the product in 1952 under the brand name Ilison, the place in the Philippines where it originated. Unfairly, the company Eli Lilly Company filed for both patent protection and the U.S. patent without giving Dr. Aguilar any royalties nor credit for his discovery. Subsequently, he fought for what was due to him in what would become a 40-year-long fruitless battle that ended when he passed at the age of 76. Despite having not been credited directly, Dr. Aguilar was monumental and instrumental in changing the face of medicine through his significant contribution to science. We recognize his work are thankful for all the lives it has saved. Number 3. The Quink Quick Drying Ink by Francisco Quizuming. The Quink Fast Drying Ink was invented by Francisco Quizuming, a chemist. It was an innovative ink at the moment and was additionally developed to work with Parker Pens, Filipino inventions. Aside from being fast drying, it was additionally water resistant, didn't clog the pen opening, doesn't blot, and won't fade. It was manufactured in four colors, black, green, red and blue. It is taken into account as one of the perfect promoting ink for fountain pens of the millennium. Today, we are more adept to communicate one another through the use of internet, cell phones, telephone, etc. We convey our written messages through social media and or emails. If we need a concrete copy, we may be able to print the message with ease. However, we still employ the original concept of writing using pen and paper. Today, we utilize different types and designs of pen depending on the material or project we work for. But one of a pen's characteristics is having an ink, whatever type it may be. Thank you for watching. Please, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and hit the notification bell.